driving concern among local officials, a fast rising rate of coronavirus hospitalizations. Not yet at levels of the spring, but following a troubling trend. Intensive care units are above 80%. Um, uh, adult acute beds, uh, non-intensive care are uh, pushing 90%. Bob now. Atlas, head of the Maryland Hospital Association, said coronavirus patients make up about 10% of overall beds, but discussions are underway to manage the increase. In just the last two weeks, coronavirus hospitalizations have shot up 72%. 863 people are hospitalized with coronavirus today, compared to 502 people on October 29th. Uh, we're in a manageable situation, but uh, deeply concerning in terms of what may come. At this hour, Baltimore City is reducing indoor dining capacity to 25%. The same new limits apply to retail and religious facilities, gyms and personal services. Gatherings are limited to 10 people. Masks are required at all times in public. Please don't try to look for loopholes in this order. Um, again, it is meant to keep you and those around you safe. Other local jurisdictions have imposed coronavirus restrictions. They vary from county to county. And the Prince George's County Executive today warned hotels about allowing rooms to be rented for parties for young people. This is not the time or the place to, to rent out rooms for minors in large numbers and have those children and their families uh, become sick. Harford County's new restrictions, were, which were announced this afternoon, close government buildings and do suspend some recreational activities, but they do not have any new impact on restaurants and bars. Reporting live tonight from downtown Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.